Hello there, I'm Tom Smart Sales, and in this video I'm going to show you how to access the hidden installer menu on your Skybox. So there's certain settings you can't get into the main menus and you're going to need to get into the hidden menu uh, and it's a secret, oh, it's not much of a secret, but, <laughs> but obviously Sky doesn't want anyone going in and messing out there because you can mess the way how everything works if you go change some of these settings. Uh, but there are some things you might want to get in there, so if you need to change your RF channel or something like that, you're going to need to get into the installer menu on the Skybox uh, and this video will show you how to do that. Now, first things first, it says no signal on the TV screen. I haven't got around to fixing it yet. Uh, signals are still above our head, um, but we don't, we don't need the signals for this for us to share to do this. So, uh, here, here's a remote, just a normal Sky, Sky Plus HD remote. Uh, and what we're going to do, we're going to press services, which will bring up this screen. Just bring up this screen, and then we're going to press 001. So, we press 001 and then enter. So, 001, enter. And that will bring up to the installer menu. So you notice it's completely changed. And from here, we can, if I scroll across to RF out, this is quite a common one. We can change our RF channel, which is outputting. So if you're using magic eyes and stuff like that, and you notice it's clashing with your TV aerial signals, it's not quite um, very good. You're going to want to move that to, to, to improve the picture quality because it's an analog. Um, that, that's how you do that. There are some other, other, other things in this. I'm just going to go through some of these things here. Manual tuning, you're probably not going to want to get, get involved in that because that's more for um, sort of non sky use. Which, if you're not using a sky box for sky, um, then you might as well get another box because these aren't designed for that. You might as well get just a generic free to air satellite receiver. Um, new install, reset some sky plus rebuild, stuff like that. Uh, telephone, that's a good one. Telephone set in, so no, we don't really, don't really need that much these days because they connect to Wi Fi, so. They, the Sky will know where the box was, will know where the box is if it's connected to your Wi-Fi. So the telephone line is pretty much redundant these days. It's not even on the Sky Q boxes now, which are out. Uh, and that's it. So I hope you've I hope you like this video. Uh, I hope it's uh, saved your day. Um, incidentally, on the old on the old software, on the old Sky Q boxes, it's a slightly different method. Um, so this has changed, this is how you do it now. Um, if you're doing it on, on the older Sky boxes, you need to go into settings and it's just 01 select, it's not 001 select. Uh, and that was, a, that was a headache the day I had to find that one out. <laughs> no, one, no one tells us. Uh, and that's it. So I'm Tom Smart from Smartarials. Um, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. We get lots more videos like this. Uh, and if there's anything I can do to help you, uh, please do put it in the comment section below. Please do give this video a thumbs up. Please do give it a like, a share. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, bye now.